Good evening, everybody. It's game day two in Group G of these Eurobasket qualifiers. We are in Tbilisi in Georgia, inside the Tbilisi Arena, as Serbia come to town to take on Georgia. Here's the results of action so far in this group. Denmark, we'll talk about it a bit more, with a big win, 75-69. Serbia took care of business in a very professional way as they got the win over Finland. So Serbia and Denmark sit there with the one win. Georgia not wanting to slip to 0-2. Really do need to come up with a performance here, protect the home court and try and knock off the number five ranked team in the FIBA World Rankings and uh, the current silver medalists at the World Cup. Serbia being introduced to the, the crowd here inside the arena, which is uh, filling up. Still a lot of seats, as you can see, but a uh, huge arena here. So they'll make some noise, and uh, we've still got 10 minutes before tip. So this, there's people coming in all the time. Got the 77-61 win over Finland on uh, game day one. Led by two at the half, increased that to seven, then opened it out for a 14-point win that gives them the top-of-the-table status after the first game. Sredislav Pesic still at the helm for Serbia, one of the all-time greats. Georgia introduced to the crowd. It's an interesting time for this Georgian national team. There's a generation of players where this may be their last opportunity as a group to achieve what the talent they have has really threatened to do for the last uh, no, well, two, three championships with Georgi Shemadini, Tonika Sergle. Really, well, who can they, and without even talking about Jordi Sinsetse, they've been on this national team program for by the uh, Shumadini and Sinzadze case, 15, 16 years. They've got real depth, real talent, and they've added Joe Tomasson as a naturalized player. This could be their last cycle with everybody in the lineup, so they're going to want to bounce back after that disappointing uh, defeat to Denmark. We're going to talk about it a little more after the national anthems, and we'll start with the national anthem of Serbia.
Oh, beautiful renditions of both national anthems. Players will meet at the halfway line to exchange mementos of this evening's game. Nine o'clock local time. Atmosphere has been building all day. Going to get a look at the third team on the floor in a second. The three officials. Johan Rosso from France is the crew chief with Martin Horizov from Bulgaria, Mikhail Prop from Poland, who will take charge of this. Uh, well, every game in the Eurobasket qualifier is crucial. Three teams from each group will qualify. But uh, with the results coming out of the day one action, Denmark have put themselves right in the mix. So uh, Georgia would really love to get the win at home. Awful result for them, not in terms of losing to uh, Denmark. They're a great team, but uh, we'll talk about that when we talk about Georgia a little bit more. Petrusev, Iamas, Doblik, Mitovic, and Gulovic will start. That's uh, one change from the starting lineup. No, it's in fact the same starting lineup that played in the win over Finland. Strong bench. 35 points from that bench out of the uh, total points in game day one. Always the way the depth is as much of the issue that uh, teams face when they are playing Georgia as much as the individual talent. And when you have this much experience and quality on your uh, head coach role, you are already in credit. Instead of that passage, as I said earlier, one of the all-time greats. So Georgia... Starting lineup. Sinciretti, Shemadini, Singalia, Thomason, and uh, Okajitsi, Tizitze, and he really does give a little bit of push in terms of up tempo in his role. Went four for five in the game on uh, game day one in his 22 minutes. Really can light it up. Well, Georgia just had one of those nightmare games. They led to 30 minutes uh, in Denmark. But in the final analysis, they only had 47 field goal attempts against 67 for, uh, for Denmark. Alexander Djidic will uh, take charge again of Georgia. They gave up 16 offensive, 15 offensive rebounds. They turned the ball over 21 times. The Tiso countdown to tip off. We are one minute away. And on those uh, 21 turnovers, Denmark hit 26 points out of their 76 winning total. It was just one of those games where it looked like Georgia were in control, but uh, then just turned it over too much, gave up too many points out of those turnovers, and they found themselves on the wrong end of the scoreline. And that puts them in a bit of a difficult position, but nothing like a win over Serbia to correct that in one go. Talent's there, absolute experience is there. Shemadini needs more touches. Shemadini only had uh, four field goal attempts on game day one. And for the Tenerife center, 34 now, 16 years with the national team. They need more paint touches from Shemadini. <laughs> Serbia take the floor with seven players that uh, played in the World Cup final. with that much talent it's no surprise with the depth on the bench that that bench was so productive but Georgia you got to feel they might not have to win this game but they've got to come up with a performance that is far greater than they put on the floor in Denmark
Well, welcome to Tbilisi. Georgia in the home white, Serbia in the blue. Then Georgia get a look at it. Zingania outside the three, goes inside. Straight away, Sermandini going baseline. Tries to create it, but it has it knocked away. Turns it over, but the intent was good. Serbia will move the basketball space to floor. Nice lift, wide open three. And if that's the level of defense Georgia put on the floor, this is going to be a long night. Prochusev with the three had all day and most of tomorrow to release that one. Whistle on the play as uh, Jinchizad say puts it on the floor, draws the contact. to Radzai. Sengeli with a lean back two, soft touch. Tony K. Sengeli just, well, he had those tremendous years at uh, Basconia. Seven seasons now with Virtus Bologna. Just one of the elites of European basketball. Whistle on the plate. A little bit too free for us. Guderich on the free throw line. There literally was not any of the Serbian roster that didn't get into the game, or those that got into the game against Finland that were just were not they were just solid. Performance level was just so consistent across the whole 40 minutes. Guderich makes the two, and Serbia will show some pressure. Joe Thomason. Got to get it over. Just about beats the eight count. They're going to work Thomason out. They're just going to run people out and turns the corner, gets to the key weight for the floater for two. And the trouble is if you get after him, he'll break you down. 16 points in his uh, Eurobasket qualified debut. And seven from 11 from the floor. I just didn't take a lot of shots, Georgia, at all. Ramaz needs a pass again. Nice look, high low. The defense just tried to close out. They just unraveled. Tengeli will take the handoff for Shemadini. Shemadini is being held. Well, there's the wraparound. Whistle on the play. But the intent to get Shemadini the ball. Is what they need to do. Just to get that balance. Thomas San goes to Shemadini at the high post. Gets it, recovers it, puts it up. And is fouled and will go to the free throw line. Pretty much 16 years with the national team. He's only 34, mind. He just the two meter 17 was one of those prodigious talents at a young age. Huge part of his pro career in Spain. Chunk of it in Tenerife will have had so much success in the Basketball Champions League. Makes the second.
Ojen Yalamaz into the half court. Again, action and reaction and reads. Balls knocked away. We'll stay with Serbia with seven on the possession. Buderich believes there was a little bit of contact. The hand's part of the ball. Get a good look at it now. Oh, he just about got it out. Put the little push shot up. Shumandini owned it. Shumandini dives. Is blocked, stays with the play, tries to go back up, reverse layup for two. That's an hour of drills move. This little reverse layup, stayed with the play, ties it at seven. But you said, moves it on. Again, they release coming high. Hermes gets to the, the key weight, makes the running layup, doesn't get it to drop. And Gailey around the floor and didn't see the ball. Thomas Sun steps back to the mid range two, just drops it. Already a favorite with the crowd. Yaramaz again off that down screen to release him. Oh, nice little pass to the inside. Beautiful cut. Just complete movement as Dobridge gets the two. Shimadini moves it on. Sengalia. Just got to try and contain him right now. Turn around. Doesn't get it to drop. The trademark can't get back. That's a charge. Super defense. Thomas Sun just planted himself outside the keyway. Just gets there. Takes the contact on the chest. Serbia with uh, still five and a half minutes remaining in this first quarter already in the penalty. Shemadini trying to get to the low block. Defense was just top draw. They just took away the dry at the lane. He was trying to cut to Thomason with a deep three. He's off. And Serbia will take that. Guderich stops and pops on the elbow. Drops the two with ease. Sengalia, they will be quite happy with him that far outside the three-point line. Shimadini comes high, moves it on. Sengalia wants it in the block. They go to it. Two on the clock. He's going to have to take the lead away for two. Is short. Upstairs for the throwdown. And Georgia will take the timeout.
Serbia up the floor. Again, just trying to work out George on every possession. It's, it's just attritional. So Gailey gets it in the block. Got to be aggressive. Wraps the pass. The open three is no good. It never looked like it was going to. But he never got set. Kaku Saletsi. Because they'd say just had to go looking for the pass. Then never got set. Put the three up. But Serbia in the penalty. And you've got to say... Georgia are just settling for things. Donny Gate, Sengalia on the free throw line. Makes the second. It's a short rotation that Georgia have. You can understand why they want to spend time with the basketball, why they don't want to get this into a running game, but uh, got to get better shots. Wide open three again is no good. Defensive rebound, this time pulled in, chance to run. But again, Serbia's defense back and organized. So Gailey on the pick and pop, doesn't get it to drop. Bakali is in the game. Bakawi, again, is someone who can give them a little bit of uh, intensity. The step back three over the screen is good. If you go under the screen, that's going to happen. Just got it on the reposition, Tom Essen. Turns away to pass, now gets in the lane, drops it inside, and they turn it over. Well, he's legendary. George, since that say. That's 16 minutes in the uh, loss, seven points, four assists. One of the faces that is the Georgian national team. The Dovac will come, get it back. Rich is fouled as he tried to get to the middle of the floor. Takusatse picks up the personal. Only the second team foul. Rich goes on the reversal. Feet set for three, way short. Great effort to chase it down, but Thomason has a chance to push. You've got to think that's when they've got to push, when they get a chance to get something easier. Because in the half court, everything is tough. Since that's eight for three, the roof would have come off if it had made that. Serbia in transition will look down low. Defensive effort. Bakari, Bakari said, no way are you going to get that on me. Sinzadze, need to pass. Finds one, Tomasin. Sinzadze, baseline kicks, wide open for the three, is no good. And if they're going to play this slowly, they've just got to make better percentages. Obvious thing to say, but it's not as if they're spending time with the ball to create the opportunity that they want. They're just taking shots late in the clock. There's a big difference. Because at the moment, Serbia's defense just has control. Like he picks up his second personal. Well, at this end, Serbia are also pretty much getting what they want. Finovic.
ball reversal. Well, Thomason gets it. Now you want to run now, but playing this game entirely in the half court. Thomason penetration drops it inside for the easy two. They blow that. Great work on the offensive glass. Block. Got to stay with the play. Block. It's a block fest for Serbia. Just threw everything away. Foul taken for the team. Petrusev. As we get a replay of the, the foul that just literally stops the clock. First block. Petrusev gets that one. Petrusev gets that one. Spikes that one away. And they're on the run. Dropped it inside. A little push for two and one. It's a clinic. Move the ball, change the angle. Get the ball deep. Chance to make this a 19-10 advantage for Serbia. Petrusev does. Zadze needs a pass, finds a pass. To the ring for two is good. Great decision to attack the closeout. Burns Zadze. Another whistle on the play. Zadze is going to charge with a personal. Debbie Delvax. Two for two from the line. 1.8 seconds from the three-quarter court. No prayer is answered, and we've reached the end of the first. And Georgia playing flat. They trail 21 to 12 against a Serbian team that is just in control. Name the stat line, name the part of the game, and Serbia are in control. Let's take a look at the stats. Shooting 62 and 40 against 45 and 0 for 5 from the three-point line. And they haven't really had in-rhythm looks from the three-point line. That's the issue. 5 from 5 from the free-throw line, even though they were in the penalty with over half the quarter to go. They had more free-throws than Georgia. Let's take a look at the best plays of that first quarter. And there's going to be a lot of plays in blue. Petrusev for a minute one with the three. And his defense really did have a big quarter. The one bright point for Georgia is the number of touches Shemadini Shema did get. Thomason didn't get an, anywhere near enough of that type of look. And if the team is trying to play ball control basketball, you cannot get beat in transition. There's too many easy looks in that one. Courtside 1891 out. There's the QR code. All the action from across these continental qualifiers.
got the Olympic qualifying tournaments coming up at the beginning of the summer. All download, download those, your normal location, and see the best. Serbia will inbound. This is a joy at the moment to watch Serbia play basketball. Avramovic checks in at the start of the second quarter, as does Dusan Listic. Where comes high. Listic inside. Nowhere to go. Has to go out. Inside, outside for the three. Is way short. Sinsadze comes down with the defensive rebound. And Galia will go short roll. Rotation just picks him up though. Sengalia is going to spin to the middle. Goes up with a tough two and gets it. Little trademark. Lean away two. But if you're going to play that way, you've got to get stops. Marinkovic. Three is good. Abramovich, as long as he gets his feet set and the ball's up, if you're late, he's going to shoot it. Got to have your hand in the eye line. Ten point game. Skip the open three. They've got to start making threes, and they do. Chase down. Good phase here for Georgia. Stops and scores. Pekatsek gets it into the half court. Sinsadze, things are a little bit more under control now he's on the floor. Sengalia wants not enough separation and space. He's going to play the pass, and that was tough. on the plate. So Gaelia felt the contact, made sure the official saw the contact. Yeah, take your pick. So Gaelia will go to the free throw line. Nice start to the second quarter for Georgia. It's based upon the fact they've got some stops. Two for two from the line. Dolbach is the release against the pressure. Avramovic outside. To say the least, this is a technical game of basketball. Rinkovic all the way to the ring for two. Got to the middle, finished in the middle. Tomasson feels a little double team, gets rid of it. Sengalia doesn't look underneath. Sinsadze. Sengalia wants it high, doesn't get it. Sinsadze to the ring for the easy two. The crowd are loving it. Just read the play. Folklore status here. Holding foul. Barkadze picks up the personal. Mm -hmm. 
Torch Passage is probably forgotten more than most of us are ever going to know about this game. 26 to 21. Jusef wants it in the block. He'll go block to block screen. Ball's knocked away. Abramovich had his pocket picked. Parkadze really has made a difference since he's got into the game. Tomasson. Sengeli is going to make some space. Tomasson takes the hand off, stops and pops and gets hit. Will shoot the three. I'd say he has been uh, exceptional, the 31 year old. Contact wasn't on the attempted block, it was all on the contact on the body. It's been a great first three and a half minutes in this quarter for Georgia. Chance to cut this to a three-point game with that one. They've just done a better job defensively. No wide open looks. And the gang rebound that one. But it's uh, Parkatsi who comes down with it. Sengelia waits for a little space. Sensadze has got to put it up deep on the clock. A chance to run. Two on one break. Easy finish. Getting out and running. Marinkovic just great control. Didn't need to do anything special. Just gives himself an angle to get to the backboard. Sengelia in his office in the low block. And Zedze puts it on the floor, attacks it, and kicks. Zengalia wide open for three, is way short. And Serbia out and running again. Whistle on the play as Kuchusev thought he was fouled. Galia picks up the personal. This is first. Shemini checks back in. They're going to pick for the screen a far too wide wide open gets the roll off the ring Marinkovic it's another one of those uh, had all day and most of tomorrow since that's a nice pass Thomas sent for two Mitrovic with the pass and the two is good just faked it and just attacked the hoop. Singeli, a little bit more rhythm to the game there in this second quarter. Thomason at speed. Shimadini has it. He's going to go to the handoff on the screen. Now we'll go back to it. Shingeli wide open from the action. Short had to reach for it. Thomason for two is short. And Serbia again with numbers. Three in transition is good. Timeout for Georgia. All that work undone as Serbia just keep being Serbia. Marinkovic gets the three. Georgia take the timeout. And it's back out to a double digit lead. And a chance to cut it to two, and we're back out to 11. 
Let's take a listen to the timeout. Well, Serbia found a way to compete in this game and get more advantage, get better looks, and find ways to stop. But in the last minute and a half, Serbia have just scored in transition. If you are going to play slow down, as they are doing, you cannot get beat in transition the other way for easy looks. You've just got to get back. Turnover, and that's the other thing you cannot do. Three on two break. Easy pass and the throw down and out of the timeout. That just kills any momentum. Thomasson advances the basketball, as I say. They're going to work him out down the middle, just breaks down, drops it off and goes out of bounds and it'll stay with Georgia. And that looked like it came off of Georgi Shemadini and uh, clearly did. But I've got to stop the bleeding right now, Georgia. Serbia are just relentless in, the, in how they're doing this. Marinkovic, they go lob to the inside and the two is, doesn't drop, but they get the foul. Guderich will go to the free throw line. Thomason clearly holding. While the ball's in the air, so no shots. Avramovic. Got to put it up. The tough two is no good. Great work on the glass, but Shimandini cleans up the mess. Thomason coming off that drag screen. Zengalia with no activity, no movement away from the basketball at all. Now they get something going. But Serbia just chase. Zengalia puts it on the floor to the ring for two is good. Got to stop and start at this end for Georgia. Marinkovic moves it on. Petrusev gets it back to him. Abramovic. Oh, a little bit of indecision. Too many options, perhaps. Foul on the plate. And Abramovic will pick up the personal. Mitrovic just wasn't sure if he wanted to make the bounce pass, shoot the jump shot, or reverse the basketball. So Serbia will take the timeout. They have the 11-point lead, 38-27. Coach Pesic wants to talk it over. Hope to get a listen. One for nine is just killing Georgia's opportunity in this game from the three-point line. Let's take a listen to Coach Pesic.
Three minutes, well, just under three in the half to go. Important three minutes for Georgia here. Coming out the timeout will be the Serbian timeout. Need to get a good look. Try and get into the half in single digits as a worst case. Thomas and Pauls, the trigger for three is long. Offensive rebound finds its way. Sengalia has it, six on the possession. Tries to back in. Shemadini with that short little push, doesn't get it to drop. Simply has to make that shot. Nice pass, they blow the layup, chance to run. Georgia again, they give it up now. Thomason in broken play. Spins to the middle. Sangalia turns down the three, is fouled on the drive. Serbia had a foul to give. Sengalia rips, tries to go all the way. Thomason stops, pops the two mid range, is no good. He's had good looks. Trusev into to Avramovic. He'll take the ball screen, ball comes out, just uh, recovered by Listic. Avramovic to the corner. The three is short. Defensive rebound by Shermadini, a chance for Georgia in transition. But again, Serbia's defense is back and ready. Shemadini has no option to reverse it. The rip through and foul is. Super rip through, really went quick. And it just opened up. Burgeon, Burgeon, that say, just. And Saratse makes the first. And it goes two for two. That gets it back to single digits. They haven't ticked it over on the graphic yet, but uh, it's now a nine point game. Mirovic to the corner, feet set way short, never really got off the floor. Since that's it. 
because that say gets to a little mid-range, doesn't want to shoot the basketball. The open three, Sensate doesn't get it to drop. Defensive rebound, Petrusev owns the key way and has owned it most of the half, most of the half. Three is off. Shemandini comes down with it. Tomasson gets it. He'd like him to push and play in broken play a little bit more. No time between the two. Holding for the last shot. Chance to get this to seven or even six. Shengelia wants, gets, got plenty of time. Wheels, deals off the glass, is foul. He'll go to the line and was disappointed he didn't make the two. There's the contact on the arm. Tony Gay, Sengalia, chance to eat into this lead. Captioning on this graphic is still wrong, sorry for that. Chance to make this a seven point game. It's in fact 38 30 at the moment. Make that 38 31 and 1.3 seconds remaining. Halfway line prayer is no good. And from a really disappointing, disjointed performance in that uh, first half, Georgia have got them back into it. It's not 27 38, it's in fact 38 to 31. They're back to seven at the half. Serbia were good throughout relentless throughout playing serbian basketball just a superb performance by them but georgia have pegged them back let's take a look at the stats coming any moment now but what it's going to tell you is that it's been a relatively slow tempo game Serbia have just shot a better percentage 38 31 And there are the stats. One from 11 from the three-point line. It's woeful for Georgia. They've got, they've got a team full of shooters. The other number that tells you is 11 assists for Serbia against seven. Both teams taking reasonable care of the basketball. Tengelia has 11, Thomason eight, and Shemadini three. And the fact that Shemadini has three and he's their third scorer. They're just not sharing the points. No one's really stepping up to help the two leading scorers. Let me get a look at the best plays of that second quarter. In a moment. But it's really going to be Serbia moving the basketball, getting good looks, sharing the basketball. And, so, and Georgia doing this, getting a lot of one-on-one -on -one action, trying to make plays. Having to get out of situations where Serbia are almost stealing the ball. So coach uh, Zizic and his talismanic leader, Tonike Sengalia, just got to find a way to ignite 
this Georgian national team. Sensei broke the defense down. That's the other thing they haven't really managed to do. They haven't managed to turn the Serbian defense. A lot of it has been played in front of the defense. Haven't managed to move the basketball to create advantage. That's why they've had to make tough shots. But Serbia being Serbia, have the seven point lead on the road here in Tbilisi. And you've got to say, unless Georgia can find a way to change the rhythm of the Serbian offense, they're just going to score too many points for them. They've got to find a way to slow them down. It's been a superb performance by Serbia in the first half. There's been glimpses of what Georgia can do. but there's been too many situations like that. Wide open jumpers that uh, Serbia have just said thank you and have knocked them down. Education, health, justice. We sometimes take these simple things for granted. They're not common for all of us. We are all born on the same planet, but not with the same opportunities. Whatever our gender, color, belief, or capability, we are one. We are all on the same team. Let's convince those who never thought they would do it, that they can. We can. Together, Together we, we are, are stronger. stronger. No matter your origin, basketball can bring everyone together. Basketball for good. Great seal. So they force him behind the backboard. Rubio drops it down. Big time finish. Give and go. Hauser gets it out. Bevarovic for three. Oh my goodness gracious. Bevarovic and Melly put him on a show. My, what a play right at the end. The high arcing three. Six seconds left here on the shot clock. Greece has got to get something going. Mitola spinning baseline going. Oh, baby, are you kidding me? Mitolu with no regard. But Hanger had got himself out of the play. Offensive rebound here on a sand with a dunk. Delicious. Another turnover, another run out. Up high, the finish is good from Shingalia. He's got eight. Georgia respond beautifully. Oh, there's the alley but Somebody give Jeremy Sohan a phone call because Balsarovsky, Yazda, Devai, Polska, Jeremy Sohan, are you watching? Action from Germany. Mobo on the roll. Lovely pass. Watch out. Germany rolling here in Ludwigsburg. Kramer on the dunk. Great team play from the Germans, though. Boxing out well, left watching to see if the shot was going to go in. And Retino Basahan is breaking ankles. Getting extended time. Nice pass. Oh, what a block. Gilly Jones just pinned it. This is a block. Test so far, 48-43 in front. Jai using his speed, oh, attacks the rim! 
and the one-handed hammer. What a jam that was. Well, welcome back. Looking at the best scorers for both teams. Rinkovic with 10, both going to the ring and stroking it from deep. Two from four from the three-point line. He's a tough ass to guard. Rinkovic described as a shooting guard, 198. Great control, great touch, and part of the Serbian offense that just shares the ball beautifully. Well, it's no surprise that uh, Tonika Sangalia has 11 and leads all scorers for Georgia. And in many ways, he'll be disappointed in that uh, in that first half. He had a lot of open looks in the free, from the three-point line. In the end, turned down those looks. It just wasn't going for him. But when he gets in that low block, he has so many ways to score. Just a, also, he's got that big body that can take the hit. But... Uh, the worry for Serbia is he's got his 11 and he hasn't got his perimeter game going at all. He's too good a player to have a whole bad game from out there. So this second half now, the fact they've got it to a seven point margin. They should be in that locker room talking about how they can get the win here. Both teams back out on the floor. Shingelia has 11, Thomas at 8. It's the Warriors, the third scorer. Shemadini can be that third scorer if they get in the ball in the right areas. Where else do they look for a consistent scoring threat? And yet they've got a shallow, ro the shallow roster. The rotation is short. But uh, maybe they've got to be a little bit more specific about where they want the ball to go and how, more importantly, how they want to get it there. Just a tough team to guard. Serbia already have 15 points off their bench. Points in the paint. 16 points in the paint. They're doing a really nice job of sharing it, getting different options. 11 assists. So you know exactly what you're going to get from this Serbian national team. It's just so difficult to stop. Someone from uh, from this uh, from Georgia has got to make a statement. Get on the glass, make a play defensively. Get just increase the physicality because at the moment Serbia are running what they want to run in the time they want to run it. They're not being asked any questions at the defensive end. Marinkovic has ten. Pachusev, who was a incredible good performance, good performance by him in that first half. Mitrovic has six. And just the fact that they've got more people consistently contributing makes them a really tough team to guard.
Presentation to uh, Georgi Sinsense at uh, halfway line at half time here. Nice touch by the, uh, the Georgian Federation. He is a legend, still playing, 38 years old, still competing at the highest level against you know, Serbia, silver medalist in the World Cup. And Sinsense is out there, still repping his country. Nine minutes in that first half, really, as we keep saying, he is literally uh, a living leg legend of Georgian basketball. Well, if you want the information about the Eurobasket qualifiers, download the Eurobasket qualifiers app. There's the QR code in the corner. Everything you need to know about the qualifiers going on in Europe. And you know there's never, ever an easy game in these qualifiers. The other game in this group, Finland and Denmark, currently locked at 76 in the fourth, each at the fourth quarter. Could end up with uh, Denmark getting a road win, Serbia getting the road win, and both teams having a 2 0 record. But there are plenty of other options. So Georgia with the ball at the start of this third quarter. Shimadini makes the bounce pass. Thomason gets underneath, needs a pass, has to go outside and turns it over. And since that's a takes one for the team. Again, the discipline on the defensive end. Because wherever where Thomason Thomason caught the basketball, he had no real options. This made it incredibly difficult for him to function. Guterich inbounds in the backcourt. Yamas. Guterich moves it on. Comes back up the down screen. Petrusev tries to seal down low. Oh, tough finish by Guterich. Over Sengalia. Just found an angle. Sinsadze, obviously they're going to try and run Sinsadze at the point to take some pressure off Thomason. Thomason has it now, gets it to Sinsadze. Back in the day, I think he'd have put that up. Takes the runner off the glass, gets the drop for two. Said it before in these uh, qualifiers, the stadium announcers put in a shift. Really trying to generate the atmosphere here. Gulic gets his feet set, knocks, takes the three, knocks it down. Takes it to the ring on one possession. They step off him, he knocks the three down. Serbia back out to a 10-point margin. Singelia in the office, in the low block. Spins to the baseline, needs a pass, finds one just about. Sinzadze with seven on the clock. And they've run nothing to get this. Shemadini kicks it off. They take the open three and can't get it. Shemadini keeps it alive. Well, a lot of shot clock to get no advantage. They go lob to Shemadini. Watch out. Oh, and he blows the, the little layup. Looks at the official and says, where was the call? And Serbia turn it over. I didn't see any foul on Shemadini. Has it? All that could have been was a just a, a slight amount of contact from Gulich, but not enough for her to have him miss it. Ten point game. Thomason has it. Shimadini at the high post. Since Thomason wide open. Simpson has to make one. Does. 
finally gets it to go. Trying to get the crowd involved. They need every bit of help they can get here. Gulic, Yanamaz lifts, puts it on the floor, is fouled. And they'll be shooting too. And said they incensed that it's a shooting foul, but I think it's absolutely right. Picks it up, there's the contact. Easy for me to see where it was. I get it in slow mo. Referee's doing it at real time. Who'd want to be one? Yaramaz on the free throw line. Such a tough job. This is the first. Much, uh, much better feel coming from the noise in the gym. Goes over two since that's a knocks it to uh, Sengalia. He knows the momentum is a bit of momentum swing happening right now. Thomason finds Sengalia, lines up the three, got it. Had made a three all game, gets it going right now. Back, back, back to back threes for Georgia. Crowd feel it, the bench feels it. Trusev hands it off. Guterich, but Trusev puts it on the floor, drops it inside, blocked. Shimadini gets a big piece of it. Ball's knocked away with 0.7 on the clock. They've caught the foul. And it should be a shooting foul. If you have, it's just heads up play by Gudorovic. If you have your arm outside a straight and it's near the offensive player, they're just going to take it through it. Automatic foul. Got to be straight up. Serbia will not change. The belief in the system is 100%. Guderic to make it a six point game, which he does. Great feel there for Georgia, though. Back to back threes. Tomas Senna and Sengalia, they need those two to really start knocking shots down. Shimadini is can't get it, but Thomason saves it. Sengalia going to work off the glass. Can't get his own rebound. Petrusev will bring it. Serbia is a group of five in transition. Udovic wants it, doesn't get it. Now Georgia has their defense set. Udovic gets his feet set in the corner, feeling it. Doesn't get it to drop. Sensate with a rebound. Thomason's gone, needs the basketball. Stops, fills it up. Rolling back the years. Georgi Sinsatse gets the two. Coach Pesic calls the timeout. 45-41. Georgia with all the momentum coming out of the halftime break. Let's take a listen to this Serbian timeout. After the uh, Serbia timeout. Well, 
I know we always say it's really important to get what you want coming out of the timeout. Georgia show a little, they show a little pressure, but don't really put any on. Aramaz into the half court. All of a sudden, there's a lot more defensive energy. Open three in the corner is good. How to take the air out the room. Orjen Doblic just steps into the game. Answered the other way though. Thomason gets, gets it to go. Pesic takes a timeout as Thomason gets the two. Brings in Orjen Doblic for his first minutes of the game. 13 seconds into the game. Catches it, knocks down the three. Foul called on the floor. Thomason. Looks like he's feeling it right now. Needs a pass. Sengali was the option. Five on the clock. He's got to go up. Sensati for the three. Is off. Defensive rebound. Great outlet. Get it and go. To the corner. For three. Good to reach. Is no good. Chance to go the other way. Sinsetsi. Singalia has it ripped away. There's that little dig at the basketball. Singalia stays with it and gets the jump. Possession to Serbia with a seven-point advantage. Abramovic. Udovic comes off the down screen, gets his feet set for the three. Gets the roll. He tried to come out. Great execution. He just waited and waited and waited. Got the angle of the screen. Came off it. Knocked down the three. Here's Thomason. Georgia got to stay with this. Thomason gets in the lane, ball fake, looked for contact, drew the contact. Have to ask who initiated that. Let's take a look. Well, it's the same thing. If you're not straight, then they go up, they're going to call it your way. Thomason was looking for the contact, but uh, if you're not straight, it's only going to go one way. Tomasso makes the first. Abramovich into the half court. Same play, they're going to get the screen and then come off the down screen. This time they have to use the ball screen. Mirovic looks to go inside. Nice cut. Beautiful play. Anytime you want to rerun that, rerun it. It's just how to read the defense, how to keep playing for the next option. Super execution. Sinzadze in the lane, puts it upstairs. Shimadini's going to be fouled and go to the free throw line. Just talking about the give and go on it. It's good or it's everyone knows that he knows that people are going to get out on him and try and chase him off that three point line. He was guarded, made the pass, and then moved. The defense had thought they'd done their job chasing him off the three point line, giving him to get it up. Just play and play the next play, get the next read, move, and your teammate will see and give you the ball. It's uh, 
It's very easy to talk it through. You just got to trust each other and make it happen. Super play, super to watch. Shimadini makes both from the line. Gets it back to eight. Georgia just have to get over the hump here. Abramovich guarded by uh, Otskikitsi. Trotsky inside out. Abramovich for the three is good. That defensive pace has just slipped. If you're gonna go down, if you're gonna go down and try and help on the post, you've got to get back out. Not really sure they need to help in the block. Thomason needs a pass, finds a pass, gets the handoff, down to six on the possession. Wide open for three. Is good. Well, it's good, good say. Lined it up, knocked it down, back into eight. Need a stop, need to get over this little hump. Whistle on the play, that'll be the fourth team foul for Georgia. Again, smarts. Jincharadze, again, not straight. Reaching in, the offense is just gonna throw the ball, throw their arm through the contact. Sengalia comes back in. Gets that short blow on the bench. Ball's knocked away. That should be George's basketball. That's how it looked. Yep. Yeah, nothing to do with Tom Asson. Just a mishandle. They're going to have a look at it. So I'm not sure if there was. Uh, Yep, Serbia have challenged the call. Can't really see it from there. The angle we had before was really good. Still looks blue to me. But I'm not as close as the officials. Yep. Last touch by blue. Opportunity to get into six or five on this possession. 2.38 to go in the third. Serbia have just uh, balanced it back out. And Galia. He's taking this responsibility, gets in the lane, kicks it wide open for three to fly by. You gotta make it. If you change your rim, you gotta make it. Abramovich will back it out. Still keeps it there, wants to play down that side of the floor, going baseline, gets blocked. Didn't move the defensive call. Shingalia drops it inside for the easy two. It's a poor decision by Abramovich. Sengelia just always had control of it. And Bergen Jadzi gets the two. The runner, oh, Petrus Petrusev. Again, just takes all the air out of the gym. 130 of the third remaining. Parakadze is in the game. Thomason has it. So Galia for the three is off. Stops. It's still all about stops for Georgia. Petrusev moves it on. The stitch will pass and then screen. Abramovich needs a pass, finds one. Well, they swing it to the open three. That's off. Defensive rebound pulled in by uh, Virgin Edze. Singalia. This is where he goes to work. Gets a little, gets deep. His foul as he kicked it off. Serbia aren't in the penalty.
drew three defenders. If he kicks it, he's got to trust his teammate to knock it down. Fifty. 58. Serbia still have the eight point lead. In the lane for two is good. Okokidze gets the two off the glass. Tough finish. Six point game. Still trying to get over the hump, but they're getting closer. They turn down the sideline pick and roll, drop it inside for the easy two. The stitch, just timing, just wait for the defense to react. There you go, step into the hole. Step in, open for three, is long. That's a rebound, but it's a foul on the offensive glass. Open looks, and at this level, you just got to make more than they're currently making. Still only 22% from the three-point line. Serbia hitting an impressive 42.8, nearly 43%. Stitch doesn't get the roll. Only 0.3 of a second remaining. Unless something crazy happens, this will be it for the third quarter. So this Stitch goes 0 for 2. And at the end of 3. Serbia still have the 60 to 52 advantage. And for all the huffing and puffing, they've increased the lead by one. They win the quarter 22-21. But if you're Serbia, if you're Georgia, you're going to be happier. You had momentum, you had open looks, you had increased your tempo. Now you've just got to get the stops and you've just got to make open shots. They're just not making enough open threes to get them over the uh, hump. Let's have a look at the best plays in the third quarter. And Gudelic was just uh, exceptional at the beginning of the third. Got to the ring. Thomason. This is when you thought that uh, George were really had all the momentum. Thomason made a three, Sengelia made a three. Looked like everything was starting to go into place. Here's the Sengelia three. Lines it up, knocks it down. But they still can't get that rhythm going as a group from beyond the arc. There's the QR code for the Courtside 1891 app. Just a reminder, download it. There's too many good things to miss if you don't. Georgia will have possession of the basketball at the start of the fourth. Down eight. Sengalia has it. Going to work is foul on the penetration. But they'll wipe it off. Because there's the foul. Takes another dribble. In fact, they've caught it offensive. Mm. Saw him clear out a little. 
Let it get it straight back. The ball fake for the two is good. Virgin Adzi cuts it to six. Obviously with the three is no good. Sengalia cleans up the mess. Georgia have a chance to be as close as they've been since the first quarter. Sengalia going to work down there. A lot of contact, spins baseline, has it knocked away, stays with the play, tries to get it back up, finally gets a whistle. Really not sure whose call this is because there's a lot of there's a lot of contact around the penetration that he puts up. Desperate attempt to get a shot away, gets fouled, chance to make this a four-point game. Makes the first, nothing, nothing like the pressure of national team basketball, nothing like a Euro basket qualifier where you really feel you have to get the result as Georgia do. Got to find a way to get back in this. And now they're on the verge of getting over the hump. If he makes this, they're down four. Which he does. Serbia. And Georgia's defense is just so much more active. Great curl on it. And again, the smart play to just go through the outstretched arm. Barak, Parakadze, watch the arm, there's the arm. So what does uh, Marinkovic do? Go through it, draws the contact. Got to stay clean, got to stay in your space. What a finish. Super, super, super finish by Marinkovic. And a lot of people contested it, just curled off the screen. Just runs into your own player. Two on one. And Listich just gets the lead back to eight. And Georgia just ran into each other. We're in. Renzatzi was just uh, almost like a screen at the defensive block. Tengalia draws the contact. Dusan Beslak picks up the personal. Down the lane, hooks his arm. They're going to keep going at it, keep trying to wear out their opponent. Thomason doesn't get it. Sengalia gets it in the office, in the block. Just about hangs on. Someone's wide open. Kukasadze was uh, in the block, but uh, Burinjadze was in acres on the far side of the floor. Eight-point game. We've got to do it all again, Georgia. The hump just got a little bigger. Whistle away from the basketball. Let's check what the call's been. Kakuzadze picks up the personal away from the basketball, picks up his third personal. Marinkovic is the man to release the pressure. The three is good. Oh, Abramovic just rainbowed it. High arcing three. Back to a double digit lead. Tomasson. Sengalia. It's taking too long to get advantage. They're going to, even with seven and a half to go, 
making really hard work of this. Sinsense going baseline, steps on the baseline. Georgia are going to take the time out. They just need to regroup. There's the ball bouncing on the end line. just have to go a little quicker, a little more up-tempo offensively. Every point they're getting, they're having to work so hard for. They're having to create and make the play more often than not just one-on-one. -on -one. That allows Serbia to, as they've done with Sengalia, just double-team, rotate away from the furthest player, and they just again are going to go and force through that action. Got to share the ball a little quicker. They've got to get a little bit more advantage. It's never anything you have to say about uh, Serbia. Sometimes with Serbia, you're almost on the line of saying, well, they really need to get this guy shooting the ball. It's the system. It's the way they read it that gets the looks. Well, it's back to getting stops, though. Still plenty of time, but they need stops, Georgia. Trail this one, 56-76. Marinkovic hits the second side, gets it back, puts it on the floor, needs a pass. Novak moves it on, turnover, Tomasson has it, it's got to go up. Conspires to almost turn it over, Sinsense saves it. Tomasson picks himself up off the floor. St. Galia spins, they just turn it over. Everybody made the pass. Everyone played the pass. Avramovic finally gets guarded. The tough little push is no good. St. Galia in transition. This is where you want him to go and play. To the ring. Kicks, turns over. No one moved. That has to be an unsportsmanlike. And said they just wrapped his arms round from behind. They all stood and looked at Sengalia's penetration. He had nowhere to throw the ball to. Turns it over. Sensei has to foul. From Mobich will go to the free throw line. Could be slipping away here. Still on the eternity. 6.22 to go. Avramovic gives him a little help by missing the first of the free throws. It makes the second. Brinkovic will inbound. Can't let the energy level drop now. Abramovic needs a pass, finds a pass. Marinkovic steps back, looks to knock down the three and does. The whole game has largely been played at Serbia's, in Serbia's pace, at Serbia's time. Trying to stop Serbia doing what Serbia were doing. It hasn't been a game that Georgia has imposed themselves on. Again, they just rotate away. Dropped inside. I think Galia is fouled. It's an effort. It's an effort to get a look. Gets position. on the side because it was on the catch 14 second reset 540 remains a 15 point margin
Tomasson. Steps back for the three is long. And again, it's they haven't run things to create advantage for it for each other. Labramovic. Again, off the ball screen, gets a reposition, turns it down and slices through for two, doesn't get it to drop. So Genia is fouled in transition. And while it might have been a little bit more subtle than Sinsetze, it's exactly the same. No real attempt to play at the basketball. That's a we advance the basketball. Shemadini's checked back in. Still five to go in the game. Plenty of time if they could get a little momentum run now. Score and a stop. It's taking too long. And the help can come. Tom Asson takes it back to traffic. Takes the tough floater. Is no good. Slipped it out of the back of the hand. The extra pass. They share it. Little back wide open. Doesn't get it to drop. Tengania needs a pass. Just about gets one. Tomasson. Got to run. Got to get something quick here if they want to get back in the game. Tengania. Sad day. Nice pass. Good two. Took a long time out of the clock, mind. 13-point game is plenty of time to get back in this. They need quick stops, though. But everything in Serbia's time. There is always in the back of your mind not wanting to lose big. Tomas is going to be charged with the foul. Serbia will shoot the throws. Had his hands involved in the game. There. Got to take it on your chest. Serbia will want to put a margin up here if they can. They're just going to wear them down. 13-point lead. They're going to make this a 15-point lead. They would love a 20-plus win. Abramovic, quality minutes again. He sits down. Abramovic, pretty much 23 minutes, 12 points. Has an efficiency rating of 18, seven assists. 60% from three. Just had a game. In fact, everybody in the blue uniform has just had a game. makes the first in the throws. Shimandini just about pulls it in. Thomason at pace. It looks like they're going to try and see this out without giving up a big loss. Nelanaz will advance the basketball, gives it up. He 
Schwab gets it to Yalamaz. No time on the clock. Gonna have to step back, take the tough two. Doesn't get it to drop. Shemadini cleans up the mess on the glass. Sengalia and Thomason combined. Sengalia outside. Doesn't want to shoot that three. Gets going to the ring. Steps through. Second move. Left hand. Doesn't get it to go. D defense by Petrusev. Different level. Gunaric can't get the three to drop. Thomason again. Sengalia puts it on the floor. Gets to the ring for two. Full team point game. Galanas will take the ball screen and move it on. Gets it back. Russell on the play, they're going to count that. Trevich going up, big step, takes the contact, gets, gathers himself, and just knocks it down. Luka Mitlovic to the free throw line. Again, every body on the floor for Serbia has been effective. Shooting over 40% from the three-point line, 60% from two. They've rebounded well, 20 assists for the Serbian national team. Trevich can't get the free throw to go. Tomasin gets it back. Medini goes deep, doesn't get a look. Gonna have to come back out again. Singalia is fouled, will go to the free throw line. Just to remind you, the top three teams in each of these 14 groups will make it to Eurobasket. And what that normally means is that right up to the last games of the qualifiers, there's all sorts of permutations as to who will and who won't make it through to arguably the toughest continental championship where on a given day, any given team can cause an upset. Sengelia makes the second. He's going to come out with 121 remaining. Jusev hands it off. And it's like it's minute one. Same, same stuff. That though, apart from the turnover, which didn't happen minute one. Last minute. Thomason, little runner off the glass, doesn't get it to drop. So Gulic will inbound the basketball. And Serbia are literally 40 seconds away from the perfect start to their Eurobasket qualification. Yelmaz backs it out, plenty of time, gets the inside touch. 
five on the uh, possession. Billy Richards have to take the tough one from the corner. Hits nothing. Georgia with a chance to run. Jackie Sadze on the runway for the throwdown. But Serber are going to walk this off. They've come here into Tbilisi. A lot of emotion in the gym. And they have just taken the air out of the room. Moved the ball beautifully, shared the ball beautifully. Defensively, had control. They get the win, 76 to 63 on the road in Georgia. Well worth the 13 point margin. Joy to watch and appreciate. After all, as we know, this is a team game that if you have to pass the ball to make it easier for your teammate, they do it as well as anybody in the world. Georgia have come into this first competition window, as we said right at the beginning. Interesting stage for the national team. Got a lot of veterans that this may be their last time as a group together for 2025 Eurobasket. They have the talent. They've got to find out how to use it. 21% from the three-point line was the big difference against 59 and 41 from the three-point line for Serbia. Just a demonstration of team basketball. Georgia, 35 rebounds to the 27. They did a nice job. That was one of the ways they got back in it. Serbia had 20 assists. Really did a good job at sharing the basketball. Cengeli had 19, Thomason 13, and then all the way down to six. They've got to get more balanced scoring. Mirovic with 16, Marinkovic with 15, and Avramovic. And Avramovic was, a, he was excellent in his 23 minutes of floor time. 18 point valuation. Only Prusev had a higher valuation than him, and he was just efficiency personified. Let's take a look at the best plays of the fourth quarter. And there was a time early in the quarter that uh, Georgia fell to come back. But uh, every single time they were threatened, Serbia found a way. Found a way to share it, found a way to get a high percentage shot. And then it running into each other doesn't help. And that was probably, that play was the beginning of the end. Abramovic would simply share it. And uh, Listic would just take the layup. If there was a play that summed up tonight's game, that was it. Abramovic, 60% from the three-point line. But the way that they executed off screens, be it on ball screen or whether away from the ball, just read the floor really well and the ball never stuck. Joy to watch. Must be a joy to play on the team. Thomason. Got to find his feet a little bit on this national team. They've got to find a way to make it better for him. Got to find a way for Sengalia's points to be more influential on the game. Not just keeping Georgia in the game. So lots of questions for Georgia to think about between now and the next competition window.
because they have a tough two-game series in that window with Finland. They haven't played Finland yet. They play them back-to-back -back in the next window. And Finland will share the ball. Finland will actually move. And Finland should have everybody available for that next window. So Georgia's uh, spot here is under threat. Hopefully you're going to get a look at the table and how that result and uh, the result of the other game affects the table. Here it is. So Serbia 2-0. Finland got the win over Denmark. Tough game. Four-point win, but Finland get the win at home. So Finland and Denmark with a one-on-one -on -one record. And Georgia at the foot of the table with 0 and 2. Always a privilege to cover Serbia playing basketball like that. Hope you've enjoyed it. It's been a long night for Georgia. It's been a successful night for Serbia. But for now, it's goodbye from Tbilisi.